Check it out, Casper! Hey everyone, and thanks for tuning in. Casper here, and welcome back to Rebalance, the series where we talk about underpowered, overpowered, underused, and overused weapons, and we try to suggest possible ways to give these weapons the oh-so-coveted status of... Fair and Balanced. In today's episode, we're talking about the Sharpened Volcano Fragment. Believe it or not, this used to be one of my favourite items in the game. Unfortunately, not because of its stats, but because of how cool it looks. I once unironically drew this image of the devil holding it like a guitar. Yes, I know. Please don't send help. So first up, let's take a look at the stats of this bad boy. Quite simply, hitting someone lights them on fire, at the expense of 20% damage. Now just to clarify, that 20% damage penalty only applies to the initial hit. The burn damage remains the same as normal burn damage, which is 6 per second, up to a total of 10 seconds, so 60 in total. And on the surface, that does sound quite fitting for a class who's all about lighting things on fire. Why not have a melee weapon which can also light things on fire? Unfortunately, at least from the perspective of the Volcano Fragment, the fact that our class is all about lighting things on fire means that just about every other weapon in the primary and secondary slots does a better job than this. Of course, all the flamethrowers have got a much better range than this melee weapon, and even if we ignore the extra direct burn damage that a flamethrower will deal, the after burn damage is exactly the same, 6 per second. If we imagine melee range to look something like this, and this isn't meant to be pixel perfect, don't worry then the flamethrower range is going to look something a bit more like this. If someone is within melee range, then they are 100% going to be within flamethrower range, so there's really no reason to melee someone if your objective is to light them on fire. Hell, even the flare guns are a reasonable panic option in close combat situation, where you for some reason cannot use your primary, and they've also got the advantage over your melee weapon that they also work at range. As I've mentioned a few times in my best loadout series, there's a couple of reasons for using your melee. One, it's got some sort of utility value, such as the speed boost offered by the power jack, or the crit damage to burning players offered by the extinguisher. Reason number two, your primary or your secondary is ineffective at this range. For example, soldiers or demo man aren't going to want to use their rockets or stickies at close range, so they want to use their melee. Obviously, not something which affects the pyro. Or the third reason is that you're in some sort of crisis situation where you've expended all your primary and or secondary ammo. Out of those three possible reasons to use a melee, the only potential reason to use the volcano fragment is if you are out of primary ammo, and you either aren't using one of the shotguns, or you are using a shotgun and you've emptied all the ammo. Now if you do end up in that situation, then pretty much any of the other pyro melee weapons is a better choice. So seriously, is there any reason to use this weapon at all? Well obviously, we need to consider its sole positive attribute damage over time. So as I mentioned earlier, the Volcano Fragment will do 6 burn damage per second for up to 10 seconds, which of course gives a total of 60 damage. If you include this with the direct damage of a hit of 52, then we've got a potential of 112 damage per hit, which actually sounds quite a lot, especially if we compare that to base melee damage of 65. However, the attack interval is 0.8 seconds. Let's call that 1 second for simplicity. That means that two Volcano Fragment attacks is 52, plus 52, plus that one second of burn damage in between hits for a total of 110. On the flip side, two attacks of a regular melee weapon, which takes the same amount of time, is 65 plus 65, which equals 130 damage. Now that number is very important, because that takes you over 125, meaning that you've now killed 4 out of the 9 classes who you could have possibly been attacking. For the Volcano Fragment to kill the same classes, you would need the player to burn for at least 3 more seconds. Now whilst that's of course very possible, it would undoubtedly be much more beneficial to simply have already killed the player outright. If the player does somehow burn for the full 10 seconds, you would end up with a total of 170 damage, which is indeed a lot more damage, and enough for you to now have also killed the medic, and to have nearly killed the demo man. Remember, of course, that if you attack another pyro, they won't catch on fire. 
But let's think about this in real situations. When are you ever going to be in a melee engagement with someone who has got 10 seconds to run away without either one, you or a teammate dealing more damage to kill them, or two, them reaching a health kit to both heal up and end the burn damage? In all probability, one of those scenarios is going to happen. Which means there's very, very few situations where the benefits of the Volcano Fragment are going to objectively outweigh the benefits of pretty much any other pyro melee weapon. Yes, damage over time is great, but when the damage is either not going to have much impact or could be replaced by simply doing more damage in the first instance, then this weapon is pretty much useless. So now, the fun part. The part where I encourage as much input as possible from you guys. How do we balance this weapon? I do think it's important that we keep the burn on hit. After all, that is the unique and quirky attribute of this weapon, and it's what makes it what it is. So here's a couple of ideas from my head. Suggestion number one. We give some reason to want to burn with the fragment over burning with any other weapon. This could be some sort of super burn, for example. Burn damage which lasts twice as long for a total of 20 seconds, which would be 120 damage eventually over time. Of course, it's a very high probability that within 20 seconds somebody will have found a health kit, so it's not necessarily that useful. So how about this instead? Suggestion number two. Burn damage stacks with this weapon. Hitting a player who is already on fire makes them take double fire damage. So you'd hit them once for the standard 6 damage per second, but when you hit them again, they're now burning for 12 damage per second. This would also apply to someone if they were already on fire by a flamethrower or flare gun, even if it was by another player. This would give some motivation to pull out this weapon at any time you see someone already on fire, or indeed if you lit them on fire yourself already. And the third potential idea is a slight tweak on the idea of the direct hit lighting them on fire, would be that it coats the enemy in something like gasoline. Think about similar to the Jurati. However, mini crit damage would only be applied to fire-based weapons. This would encourage you to initially hit the enemy with your volcano fragment so they're tagged, almost like they're marked for death, and then when you flamethrower them after that, they're now taking mini crits from the flames. And they would continue to take mini crit damage for as long as they were on fire, or the effects of this gasoline were to wear off. Now, as I will always say in these videos, guys, I am by no means saying that any of these suggestions is absolutely perfect idea. We know that the nature of balancing weapons is extremely difficult, especially in a game with so much variety. So please let me know what you think of my suggestions, but more importantly, let me know your ideas on what can make this weapon on par with weapons such as the Power Jack. For the next episode, I want you guys to decide what we're going to do. So in the very top right hand corner of this video right now, no matter what device you're on, there should be a little voting card appear. So click on that and pick the weapon which you want to see me cover in the next video. And bear in mind, not all of those are overpowered or underpowered. They could simply be overused or underused. So as ever everybody, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this series and I shall see you all in the next video.